I've got the time. I've got the inspiration. I've got the skill to make it happen. We'll see. <laughs> Moira, you're on camera right now. I think I'm gonna have to hand sew this dress. Hello again. Now, if you've been here before, you know that I love gingham. <laughs> It's just the cutest, sweetest design. And lately on Instagram, I've just been bombarded with red gingham dresses. And now I want one too. And I realized that I had some red gingham fabric at my disposal. Now I use this fabric as a picnic blanket in my cottagecore picnic video. Don't worry, I've washed it since. <laughs> and my original intent of that fabric was always to make it into something. I'm finally feeling inspired to sew again, knowing that I have a little bit of extra time to make my projects happen. I've got the time. I've got the inspiration. I've got the skill to make it happen. We'll see. <laughs> Hello. So this is actually essentially day zero of the project. I usually do my filming and editing on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but this is the Sunday before. And I guess I'm just very, I'm very aware of time. I think in these sewing projects in the past for YouTube, I buy a little bit more off than I can chew in the time period allotted. So to give myself the time I need to get it right, I'm essentially going to cut all of my fabric out today. Now I must say I am so thankful that <laughs> I cut out all the fabric on the weekend because even though I know it takes me longer to cut out fabric than I anticipate, it still took me longer than I thought it would on that day. So I'm hodgepodging this dress together made out of three pieces of various patterns that I have. And we're gonna hope, we're gonna hope it works. I think I'm gonna start with the skirt first because that is an easier thing. Oh, the postman's here, is it for me? Sounds like he's struggling to get something in my post box. It was nothing exciting. I, like many times on this channel, am going to take the skirt pattern from this vintage Laura Ashley dress pattern. It's just a great skirt. It has really easy pockets that are deep and I'm way past the point of not putting pockets in everything that I own. And Moira is here only to help, I imagine. Gonna help? <laughs> yeah. Or are you going to be trub? Okay, a little bit of trub. The benefit of making this dress out of an old bed sheet is that there are some finished edges already. So I'm using the already hemmed edge of the duvet cover as the bottom of the skirt. Moira, you're on camera right now. time getting this fabric through my machine. I don't know that this video is going to work out this week. I might have to pause here and film something else <laughs> today and figure out what's going on. I'll see you when I start to figure stuff out. I think I'm gonna have to hand sew this dress. So I um, did not 100% plan on filming today. As you can see, I'm in editing Celinda attire, <laughs> as that was my primary focus for today. But I finished early, so I thought I would try to suss out what was going on with the sewing machine, because the prospect of doing it all by hand was not super exciting. <laughs> So yeah, I figured it out. That pocket is attached. <laughs> Basically, my machine wasn't threaded properly. I've only used this machine twice, two or three times. Actually, it's an amazing machine. It really works very well when you thread it properly. So I'm going to try to sew the skirt together today. It is a little bit of a shame because the lighting yesterday 
was so much nicer and it's rainy and gray and just like not very nice today. Oh well. So we are here, it is the next official filming day, but I think it's looking pretty good so far. I'm super proud of my seam. It lined up so nicely, you can barely even see it. <laughs> nice deep pockets. And yeah, so today we're going to be focusing on the top half of the outfit. I'm going to be using this Vintage Vogue pattern and I'm going to shorten it a bit. There's some changes I'll have to make because I'm going to put in a zipper and this had no such closures. So let's see how we do when we get there. I'll become the gingham queen yet. <laughs> So normally at this point in this pattern, the shirt is all stitched up and the last bit is the elastic that goes all the way around. But because I'm putting a zip in the back of this, I have to be wary to not go all the way to the edge. So I still have a fold over for the zipper. We're going to start going through with the elastic and like pin it to one side and adjust until it is the right width for the back. With the gathering at the top all finished, now I am going to finish the sleeves. I just need to gather the bottom, the bottom edge. So sewing is something I've been interested in for a really long time. I first sewed a dress with my grandma in high school as I was really into like Andy Warhol and Edie Sedgwick. So I sewed um, a very lovely 60s dress with my grandma, but something about it just didn't click with me at that time. I just couldn't get it. Maybe it's because I started on really difficult fabrics. Like my first project was on silk charmeuse, which is not the best beginner fabric. <laughs> and you know, I would do little things here or there, but I didn't get really into sewing until about three years ago. I asked for a sewing machine for my birthday and I've been sewing up a storm ever since. But you know, I'm not somebody with many actual regrets in this life. But one thing I do regret is not getting more into sewing and crocheting when my grandma was still on this earth. Because this was just like her absolute passion and joy. And she would just be so beyond thrilled. So I really do wish I had gotten into sewing while, while she was still here. <sighs> not only because obviously I now missed out on all of these wonderful bonding moments with my grandma, but I would have had so much more knowledge available to me. Okay, so the sleeves are finished and now it's just putting the rest of her together. I'm going to be attaching the top to the waistband, putting a zipper down the back, and then it is time for the reveal. <gasps> Overall, 
I am pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it looks super cute, the top especially. The waist I could bring in a little bit. That's an easy thing to take in. It's just super comfortable. Yeah, I think this is like the perfect definition of play clothes. Clothes that I can climb trees in and get dirty and messy and it's just comfortable and easy to move around in. I know that this project isn't the most extreme outfit transformations, but I just wanted a cute, simple springtime gingham dress and that is what I got. I would love to know what you thought. Do you own any red gingham yourself? How much gingham do you have? Give me your gingham. I'm just kidding. And if there are any patterns or things that you are drawn to the way that I am drawn to gingham, thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I'll become the, gwi the gwingham. Ooh. Okay, so I, ooh. I first sewed a dress with my grandma. Oh, stupid springtime. My nose just leaks.